What's up, Deck Gamers? And yes, this is Minecraft Shaders on Steam Deck. You know what I'm saying? I got Optifine up and running just to show you guys how it would look. And I must say, it's beautiful. So I'll get into how to install this in just a few seconds. I just want to kind of show you before I do. But yeah, there's two options available for you guys who want to play Shaders on Steam Deck. I mean, it's not hard. It's just finding the right pack. So I'm currently using, at the moment, I'm currently using BLS for 1.19.2. You can use this for technically all the compatibility. I think it's compatible from 1.7. So you can use this. Uh, so I'll probably just take it a little step further and add some resource packs to this mod. I mean, basically to this um, shader pack because it does look beautiful though. But I want to kind of push it beyond this because I am kind of getting steady 60 across the board while playing with this. But yeah, I think the only time you'll see struggles is when you start to add mods and resource packs. So let's get into the installation and then we'll add a resource pack and then we'll play it with a resource pack. So yeah, but before I do get into the installation, let me just show you the next available option and how that option looks. So ignore these two Envy shaders and Zeus because they don't work with this 1.19 that I have. It's not um, fully compatible at, as yet, but Sildor's Vibrant shaders is going to be the next one that you want to use on Steam Deck because it just works 60 frames off the rip. This one's a more vibrant one though, as you can see from the name. I think the water looks, I wouldn't say better, but it looks a bit better than it would in the other pack. It's just the underwater for me. This looks kind of clean. Ooh, ooh, that's really good. But yeah, you can see the glow reflections. Everything's pretty up there. This looks crazy. So yeah. I'm gonna get into adding, like showing you guys how to add these and where to find these. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you're used to modding on PC, then it's pretty much gonna work for you. Okay, now we're gonna get into the basics on how to install basically shaders. First thing you wanna do is open your desktop mode and get into Prism Launcher. And then you want to create a new instance. I'm gonna just move this over. Create a new instance. Just ignore these instances for now. I'm gonna create a new instance. You wanna go normal 1.19.2 or any version of Minecraft that you're trying to install shaders on. But you wanna just select the version that you want through Prism. Press Forge. Get the recommended version. Press OK. And you can go ahead and rename this if you want to. I didn't do a rename just now, but you can always rename it to basically anyone you want. So I'm gonna name it Opti at the moment. And then basically before you launch, you wanna go to edit, you wanna go to mods, and then you want to add 1.19 I want to add that version. So I have it here already. Optifine 1.19.2. Just go on the web and find it. I'm going to add that. And then you want to go to shader packs. Add shader pack. I, re I already downloaded the shaders already. But the ones that I'm going to add to this is the BLS version 8.1.02. So you can find that on the website. I'll show you guys the website and I'll leave a link to it as well below i recommend you guys getting a ad blocker installed to your web before using that but yeah so you want to add bls to the shader pack and then add again we just want to add two for now bls and Sil sildors i'm going to add the links to all those below so you guys can check it out if you want so add these two you want to go over to resource packs so i recently downloaded a resource pack. I don't know if it's going to be like fully 
usable. But we're gonna try it right now. So it's right here. Uh, it's called Ser Sereni. So I'm gonna copy that. Put it in documents because it's on a disk. It's on a um, USB drive. So paste that one file. And then we want to close this. Go back to your thing. Resource packs. Add. And then you want to add that resource packs. You don't want to extract any of these files when downloading. So just download them from the web and place them in the file. I should have made a note about that, but it's pretty straightforward. And then everything should be here. All right, so we're going to go into gaming mode now and test out this mod pack, well, shader pack with the resources. All right, once in gaming mode, you want to go to Prism Launcher, launch it basically. And then you want to launch the shader pack that you just created. Okay, once you get the game loaded, you want to go to options. You want to go to resource packs. I don't think that resource pack got added. But yeah, you want to go to settings and for the resources, we're going to get back to resources in a second. But you want to go to settings, go to shaders, and you want to select the shader that you want to use. It's going to do this little loading thing. And you should be good to play your game. So, and shader options are all in here as well. So if you want to change the shader profiles, you get all these options here. High, low, medium, and ultra. I currently playing on high because this is automatically set to high for the Steam Deck. So once you've done all that, single player, and then we're gonna launch a quick world you guys that that's the way it's done and how easy and simple that prep pretty much is i mean the only little thing that's gonna really gonna be a hassle is finding the right files but i just showed you guys what the right one's gonna be and the best ones are gonna be so it's pretty much done for all you you know just go in there and install it and there you go that's how you get minecraft shaders loaded i mean it's pretty simple i mean <laughs> What can I say? I'm gonna go back and get the resources um, fixed so I can add some resource packs to this shader pack. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is BLS here, and I'll switch over to Sildors and show you guys how it looks. All right, so that's basically how you would get Minecraft shaders working on Steam Deck. So I hope that video was helpful. I'm gonna continue and work on getting the resource packs working. Stick around for that if you want to. But basically I've shown you guys how to get the shader packs up and running. And I hope that was helpful. So yeah, and I would recommend using BLS. BLS seems to be the prettiest in my eyes but i kind of do like both of them the bls seems to be more realistic tone instead of that vibrant um thing that the other one seems to be this is probably what you want to probably what you want to use changes up the water changes up the reflections changes up just about everything gives it minecraft a really clean feel you know so yeah i'm gonna slide over to the other I'm gonna head over to desktop mode and see if I can get this resource pack fixed. See you guys there. All right, so we're gonna go to the website here. This is the website where I get all of the shaders and texture packs. I'm gonna probably re-download a new one. So basically, we're gonna take a little browse here. And I'm kind of interested in this one here. I wanna probably download this one and then this one here and then another like lightweight maybe this one to try and test it all with the shaders so i'm gonna go ahead and download these add them to the pack and then let's get to it okay so we've downloaded all of those mod packs i mean texture packs so we have two i wanted to download a few more but they were a bit more complicated so i just opt for downloading just a few so we're gonna drag these over to a space that we can find them in the future. 
So I'm going to paste them in my documents. Then you want to go and head over to resource packs. I want to add those folders, basically files from your documents, remembering not to extract them. So these are going to be the two that I'm going to use to test. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Just going to add them here if you like this. And then we're going to DAC mode and test it out real quick. All right. So we're going to see if those resource packs were seen. And yes, it was by the mod made for an older version of Minecraft so that's incompatible at the moment. So the modern arc R seems to be working. So we're going to keep it at the top. Go done here. I guess I guess we're getting the ball rolling now. That should have loaded it successfully. We're going to check with shader packer on BLS. Good. Now we're going to launch a game. Same world, just gonna see if it all works as it should. And so we've added the resource pack. Ooh. We've added the resource pack. And it still keeps up a decent, you know, 40 to 50. Actually, 50 to 60. Around the 40, 50 margin for FPS. But it's not bad. I mean, this grass is kind of crazy, though. It's, it moves as well pretty cool so this is a texture pack running with shaders I mean come on come on you know what I'm saying well, this is what we doing this is what we doing on Steam Deck this is what we do on Steam Deck what's happening here oh that's clean no that's clean as hell but yeah resource packs shaders look at that Nah, I'm blown away, I'm blown away, I'm blown away. I mean, ooh, textures are nice. So texture packs added, you know, we went from basically, I mean, let me get a little before and after shot for you guys. <laughs> we went from this, y'all seeing this right now? It's literally, we went from this to this in a matter of like, what? Minutes, I don't know. It did not take me minutes, it took me at least an hour to fully figure this out. Well, I mean, it wasn't hard to figure out at least like 40 minutes to get it all to where we are now. So, yeah, texture packs added, shaders added. I hope you guys still enjoy your Minecraft experience on deck. And trust me, this looks beautiful in handheld mode, it just looks crazy in handheld mode, but yeah. That's, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next gameplay slash Steam Deck Therapy. Peace.